Another window that you'll find handy is the transport window. And you can get there by clicking on window and then transport. This window will become handy because it contains many of the necessary controls and options for Pro Tools. You may have already noticed, but many of the controls on the transport can also be found in the toolbar on the top of the edit window. Also, the transport window allows you to show and hide specific parameters using the drop down menu on the right corner. You can also toggle and expand a transport by pressing the expand and collapse buttons for the transport window. Let's review what these different buttons do. Here is the online button. This puts Pro Tools online if you are using an external timecode source. When it is online, playback and record is triggered by that outside source. Return to zero, also return on the keyboard for Mac or enter on the keyboard for PC, will rewind to the beginning of the song. Rewind, also one on the numeric keypad, will rewind you according to your main time base ruler. If you are on bars and beats, it will rewind you by one measure. If you are on minutes and seconds or in samples, it will rewind you by a second. If you are on time code, it will rewind you by one frame. Fast forward, which is also number two on the numeric keypad, will do the same thing as rewind, with the exception that it will forward your current position instead. Go to the end, which is option return on a Mac or control enter on Windows, will take you to the end of your session. Stop, which is spacebar or zero on the numeric keypad, will stop playback or recording. Play, which is also spacebar or zero on the numeric keypad, will start playback from the timeline insertion point. You can right-click and switch playback to loop playback if you would like to loop the playback of your timeline selection. The record button, command spacebar on a Mac or control spacebar on Windows, which is also F12 and 3 on the numeric keypad, will engage recording. When using the buttons on the transport windows, you will press record first, followed by play to begin the recording. There are several different recording modes that you can access by right clicking on the record button. We will cover these modes in a later video. Here we have two indicators. The top one is the track record enable indicator, which lets you know if any tracks in your session are currently record enabled. The second indicator specifies whether you are in input monitoring mode. We will also discuss this later. The section down here allows you to turn pre-roll and post-roll on and off, as well as set how much time you would like in those areas. Fade in allows you to have Pro Tools fade in every time you start playback. The fade in length is determined by the time specified here. The next section indicates your start and and length of the selection indicators. Next, you have the main time base ruler and also a sub counter to be able to view two different rulers at the same time. For example, bars and beats and minutes and seconds. The MIDI section of the transport will be explained further as we explore the metronome as well as instrument and MIDI tracks.